Hey guys, welcome back in Korea Bangla YT and in this video we are going to uh, complete a request of our viewers that he comment that we cool that he comment please create tutorials how to make a enter and exit car for Android okay so he comment on the V uh, you for vehicle enter and exit by pressing F keyboard this is for I show that at that video I show that how you can make simply enter and exit uh, a vehicle okay by f keyboard so he want that for android okay so i said that okay sir so guys if i tell that okay yes i will make so guys i definitely make the video just you need to wait some and if you have also comment i got some request so you can also comment me in my comment box i give my every comment reply you can check that guys i give my all of comment reply okay i'm i'm not miss anyone okay so i already create this project so also he tell that uh, please create you can create in u4 also like let me show you as you can see you can make uh, this in u4 so yeah let's i already created let me show you so here is the basically the mobile type template and i already add the vehicle template in under of vehicle template i add my third person player so let's go near of that vehicle okay so yeah as you can see if I narrow that vehicle it will become a enter button so if I now click on the enter button so I can now drive the vehicle and my character will be gone okay and I can drive anywhere where I want like let's go on here okay so then if I click as you can see my exit button is now enabled so if I click on exit so I can come out from the car and yeah guys so i can move around and as you can see where is my vehicle i always spawn near of my vehicle so that's i created so i hope you will be enjoy and also guys i will be give you this project link in the description link below like the zip file i will make a simple zip file for you so after then creating the zip file you need to just click on extract and put in your unreal engine so you can all just click on open the unreal engine launcher so you can launch this project and you can enjoy okay so let me show you what i did so first of all what i did that guys basically copy my third person template to my vehicle bp uh, template that i create two uh, template and add my vehicle uh, in my vehicle template i just go to my browser like my file explorer and just copy my third person templates uh, folders and just paste it in my vehicle folder okay so then it will become okay so one is done what i did that first of all in my player section okay like just open my third person player so at the third person player uh, as you can see there's a uh, nothing yeah I didn't do anything my third person player so first of all what I did that in my open level class okay just blueprint that open level blueprint class so at our open level blueprint class I create a widget that I just create here that widget as you can see let me show you here I just create right mouse that widget user interface so then create the widget and add to a viewport so basically I connected my widget with my game so one is done in my UI okay at the UI I add a two button that one is for enter and second one is for exit I also give the ID name that exit and enter so I can easily find out so one is done I set the gravity to right side both of so one is done I simply go in my vehicle skeleton body so add my skeleton body by selecting skeleton mesh of our main part I create a stock that add a stock so here's the stock name so I just set like this that from why we want to attach our uh, player because we want that our player always attach with our vehicle why we go when we exit we can find him so our near so that's why I create this stock also if you want you can put him into a the driver seat okay it will be work also but make sure that you set up the collision okay so one is done I just go to my sender that we uh, vehicle blueprint so at the blo uh, vehicle blueprint at viewport that I add a simple box collision this box collision will be help you to verify that are we are near of the vehicle or not so one is done that in event begin play I call my even uh, the box uh, overlap that inside of begin overlap or end overlap so then I cast my third person player then create uh, some variables in my third person player that near of vehicle I create a simple boolean var uh, variable that I am near of the vehicle or not so I just search here and set it to in my third person player okay so one is done uh, before do that 
I add that even begin play that get all actor from class then get a copy from that and then set the refer all the variable in this thing like just click on promote a variable so you find like this I set that player reference so then I just set the near vehicle that true so for ending the overlap or if you are not near of the vehicle so simply do the same thing that casting the player the near of vehicle I just take it to untrick that untrue okay so it's mean that it's false so one is done what I did that in my enter I create a custom event that enter V and also one more custom event that exit the vehicle so at our enter vehicle that I get my player reference which we, what we created just get this thing and from that I search that get a near of vehicle is true or not so then I set the condition that if it's true that if we are pressing this thing like let me show you that if you are near as you can see it's verifying that are we are near yes it's if it's true that we are near of the vehicle so then we can what I did that simply attach actor to component then I set the parent to match because that is the vehicle and the target is our player so that I just simply did connect it with a target so one is done I set my stock name to player because what we create at your stock name you need to paste that here then I set the location rule to snap target, rotation rule to snap target and scale, uh, scale rule to keep world. So one is done at here I search that process that this is give you the control so the target is get player control and the uh, pawn is self the, because this is vehicle we want to drive the vehicle. So from that that from our player reference I search that a new visibility or set visibility so you can find the target of match that match that set visibility then I click that untrue if it's true that it will be visible if it's false it will be a uh, hide your character so one is done then I create one more variable that driving that true okay that is also a boolean so also do the same thing for exit that create a exit custom event and on exit custom event I deattach actor from uh, deattach I want to deattach my actor or my player from my vehicle so deattach actor then target is our player reference and also that location rule to keep world rotation rule to keep world and escape uh, skill rule to uh, keep reactive so from that I set the poses the same thing that get player controller but for now the pawn is our player okay so that's why I connected with our player so one is done I said the I want to visible my player so then say do the same thing that from the player reference I search the match and from the match I start, uh, said that said visibility that true so then also I false my dr uh, driving uh, boolean so that is the basically the function of enter and exit so for working the UI that assume seeing that uh, if you are ne not near of vehicle so there is a no button will be display but if you go near of that vehicle so then oh sorry <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay so when we are near of that vehicle so it will be uh, as you can see that it will be tell that enter okay the enter uh, button will be visible so then if I press the enter it will become the exit button also so and also the enter was done will be gone so for do that system at UI I just go to graph so at the graph that on even construct I get all actor from class that my third person do the same thing that get player reference get a copy and just promote a variable and set to player reference from that I also get my vehicle the same thing that get all actor from class then get a copy and set the reference to my vehicle so one is these two thing done on event tick I add a sequence from the player I search that near of vehicle if I am near of the vehicle I add search that uh, the enter of button should be visible if it's true if you are near of that vehicle and if it's false the button will be hidden okay as you can see also I said that first time the event construct work like event begin play so at first time I will be hide the my button all the button then the second step uh, from the second sequence what I did that vehicle get the vehicle reference then drive if I am driving or not then if and else that searching that I if I am driving so it, the button will be the exit button will be true if I am not driving the vehicle so it will be hide okay also from the hide I set that visibility that we want to visible the button that's why so that's all so then for the executing the function the our vehicle answer inside of this execute for one to execute this thing in my UI 
okay that here that on button one click that the enter button click and this is for the exit so in enter enter button click from the vehicle i search reference that enter v that my call function and the second that exit vehicle okay so guys that all that is the whole code and yeah by this thing you can make your own uh, enter and exit vehicle template for mobile you can control him okay so i just hope you like this video if you had a um, question you can comment this in my comment box also guys don't forget to like share and subscribe full project link and description link below so bye bye